live in Cockle, and sadly, I don't recycle because it's not an option that we have, but I will say that I certainly support recycling and wish that we could afford to have it in our borough. We do, um, my, my family in particular, we save a lot of materials instead of throwing them away, so like glass bottles we keep, we try to repurpose them. We have friends that make wine, so we give them to them. We have take time in this and that, but yeah, we recycle here, and then we also um, compost. So like all of our fruit, vegetable, and coffee scraps um, go to a big pile at my house, <laughs> and I uh, compost it um, a lot with a lot of clean cardboard or egg cartons, things like that. Um, gets composted, and I use that in my garden um, personally. So that stays out of landfills and things like that. But it's also kind of uh, that idea of recycling. Like, you know, you're recycling something. I can't resell use coffee ground, but I can uh, put in a compost pile and cook it down and use it in my garden. It always fascinated me too outside of recycling was how the recycling process works. At, like, the land or something like that. You know, they just dump it in a pile and it's like, all right, me and you are, we got to go through this pile today in eight hours. Like, you know, I always wondered like how that process was too. Um, and I think if people kind of saw that, that there's actually someone that has to maybe manually do this at some point that that might curb them of like not wanting to put something gross and disgusting in there. I can buy them all for fun and also it saves you money on your garbage bags. You don't have to put all that stuff in your yellow garbage bags. Yes. Then um, food service, that's getting really big. Um, and I'm on the, it, it's really hard as, as like a business owner because people have certain expectations. Right. But like if I could get rid of my plastic cups, like I would love to. Like, um, you know, we have like you know, it's the exact same size, but it doesn't, people can't like see the liquid in there. Um, you know, but part of me is like, you know, I think that all of us have to start, have to almost make like a drastic change for people to understand that. Um, to where like, you know, if I went to my paper cup, then I'm only having a plastic lid instead of a plastic lid and a plastic cup and a plastic straw. We are on this, they, re, they renamed it. it, it was called the Green Team, but we tried to make our campus more sustainable, so I was talking to the woman who spearheads it, and I was asking, like, I, ought, I should know, but I, what can I put in this bin and what can I not? And she was trying to go over it with me, but that's when she shared, like, well, I think that a lot of it's just getting discarded anyway, so. About it, step back. I think everybody, if you just step back, you can see a lot of things that you can do. 